Yeah, nice camping spot. This is hole in the ground. About 30 miles east of La Pine, Oregon. Walk over to the big hole in the ground. Sounds like a motorcycle. I'm gonna walk on the road and checking it out. May be able to go back out this way and avoid some of these rocks. There's our camping spot way over there. There's Dave on the left and I'm in the middle and there's Irene. Yeah, I can hear somebody on a dirt bike. Here's the hole in the ground. Gigantic crater. This is a Mar. It's not a asteroid crater. It's a big, there was a lake here and it Magma came up and blew this all out. Blew a big hole in the ground. Shot all these rocks out everywhere. It's a nice camping spot up here. Oh, it's a nice camping spot. I might move up this way after Dave leaves. It's a perfect radio spot. Got some nice, not super big pine trees, but nicely spaced out. That one's about 50 feet, and that one's about 40. Got a couple nice trees and make for some antenna supports. That's Fort Rock right over there. Looking out Christmas Valley and Silver lake is down there somewhere and summer lake farther down that's all Christmas Valley looking out that way about 4,800 feet I think on this ridge this is the east side this is the high point of the crater it stays pretty much about 44 all the way around. I think this is about 47 something. It's about 200 feet higher than the surrounding rim. Yeah, I can hear somebody buzzing along the road over there where we are. Down close to the bottom. Hole in the ground. Hey, made it down to the bottom. Big hole. There's just a hole in the ground. There's a big hole in the ground. That's a couple miles west of this area. Get out of here, fly. way up on the top edge there and there's my camper next to that tree right in the middle can't quite see Irene's van she's back a little bit from the edge up there somewhere Not much down here, it's just all flat. A barrel, burn barrel over there that's all full of bullet holes, so that's the one main camp spot right up there, and they've been shooting this barrel. Probably makes a big ding if you hit it. Be a long shot, full of bullet holes. Do 
here's Irene doing her video video. Looks like there's big hump deals. I think they had motorcycle races. All that road that we went on was all humped up. Big motorcycle jumps. And they come down that road and then there's a big pile of dirt there that they use for a jump. And then they raced, probably raced up this hill a long time ago. They probably had motorcycle races or maybe quads or jeeps or something. Probably motorcycle race. Make a nice big racetrack in here. Hi, Northwest Hiker, heading out of our boondocking spot, ground or hole in the ground. Morgan, there's Irene, she's ready to roll. Let's see if we can get through these landmine rocks. You gotta really watch it with dually truck, a little wider than standard rig, so definitely wouldn't want to be bringing a big motor home in here. I mean, you could get a motor home in here, but definitely have to be careful. Lots of big rocks to run into. Squeeze between. Nice big green alfalfa field. I think that's Thompson Peak right there in front. Thompson Reservoir. It's at the base of that. We're heading to Anna Reservoir. Coming up on Silver Lake, uh, 9.3 miles. Starting to drop down in elevation, 40, 4,500 feet. This is actually, the Garmin shows that green field as a lake. So maybe there was a lake there at one time. Silver Lake. This is a little market store. And I'm gonna jump on, grab a few things. This is beautiful downtown Silver Lake, Oregon. And what do they got there? Well, it's a cafe and bar. Well, that's it. I got propane was 239.9 or 239 a gallon. Paisley 50, Lakeview 95. This is cemetery. Okay, next stop is Anna Reservoir. 